Right now, Amsterdam dance event. It's uh, my hometown. I grew up here, so it's super dope that the whole industry is here right now. It's gonna be a busy week, a lot of interviews, a lot of shows, but I think it's all worth it. And I'm gonna see so many people, so many friends from around the world. So I'm really excited. You beseft you that you're actually huge, Ben, nu toch? Yeah, it is. It is raar. And uh, soms heb je door wat gebeurt, heb je kort. En soms zit je weer van fuck wat, wat gebeurt er eigenlijk. Maar ja, het is super leuk. Jij ja, maakt heel veel leuke feesten mee. Nu in Amsterdam ben ik super blij dat uh, mijn ouders, familie en vrienden zien wat er gebeurt. Zo, jezus, doe even rustig. Hey, uh, zaterdagavond is natuurlijk die DJ Mac toch 100 uh, bekendmaking. Hoe belangrijk is dat voor jou? Hoe hoog je er zeg maar in komt? Ik heb geen flauw idee waar ik erin kom. Maar als ik hier hoog in kom, is het, vind ik het. Uh, ja, super tof dat gewoon heel veel mensen hebben gestemd. En ja, dit, die, die, die lijstje staat echt met de grootte der aarde erin. Vorig jaar stond ik op 40. En toen heb ik me ook uh, 100 keer in mijn arm moeten knijpen. Of het echt was toen ik het net hoorde. Dan, dan besef je in één keer dat het niet meer, is, uh, dat het niet meer zo klein is. Dat, dat, het, dat het echt groot aan het worden is. Dat het serieus, serieus is. Ja, dat het serieus is. Terwijl het toch nog steeds hobby is. Dus dat ja, dat is, dat is het leuke. Het is begonnen als een hobby. En het is nog steeds een hobby. Ik doe, het, ik doe iets wat ik, wat ik super leuk vind. En het feit dat je daar andere mensen blij mee kan maken. Ja, dat, is, dat is super tof. Wat zit hier in? Ja, wat zit er? Wat zou het Antrax? Sinds maart ben ik en Carolien Garrix er geworden, maar het lijkt veel langer. Sinds Weirdheart en Animals gingen meer naar het tekst luisteren. Hieronder denkt ook het hele idee om gebeuren in de festivals. Sinds kort had ik snel... This letter got serious. Aww, he's gonna cry. It was super mega. What's it say, man? Sum it up. It's like really sweet. They're like from uh, all, all my fans' account around the world. They made like... Uh, Messages like, uh, I don't speak English very well, but Martin, you're the best, you're crazy. That's re it's really dope. I'm gonna put this in my studio. It's Martin Garrick's press day, it's ADE week, so there's a lot of radio, magazines, television. I think we had like 150 requests for the ADE week. I think we're doing 20 interviews. I think it's one of the most hectic schedules we had. Okay, Martin, thanks for coming. Bye. Take care. Bye. Cool. Uh, ik ga verslapen nu. He's quite tired, so he's gonna take a quick power nap. So he will be ready for tonight to do his uh, big Uber bus uh, performance. And then we go uh, directly to the escape where he hosts his own night uh, with his friends. And, uh, it's gonna be a late night again. And then tomorrow, it's gonna happen all over again. So, so it's cool though. It's only once, once a year this week, so it's all good. Ik ben er heel erg uit. Ik ben super, super fit uit. Ik heb honderd uur geslapen en altijd fit. We're gonna do a collaboration with Uber. Like we're gonna drive around in the bus through the city, and uh, I'll be DJing in the bus and we're picking up fans, and then uh, we drive straight to Escape Amsterdam, where I have my own event. We have uh, Oliver Helms playing, Julian Jordan, Dylan Francis, Jay Hardway, Matisse Sadko, and I got some special surprises as well. I think it's going to be a really fun night.
last year you were running around with, uh, with an iPod and headphones and you were letting people listen to your music? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think... Two years ago? Yeah, I think two years ago. You were just running around and what was the song you were playing to everybody? Uh, it's a track I never released. <laughs> So what's going to happen is that um, Martin Garrix is going to be interviewed by Dylan Francis live here from the, uh, the Facebook uh, office here in Amsterdam. It's my dream to be asking Martin Garrix what it's like being an 18 year old boy. Make me beautiful. Dylan Francis is the craziest motherfucker right now. <laughs> no, he's like the coolest guy in the industry. I met Martin through the internet. Um, I saw him on MTV with Julian Jordan, and they had a song with Sandra Van Dorn, I believe. And um, I saw that they were both like 18 and 17, and I was blown away. So I ended up following Martin, and he was following me on Twitter. Yeah, we started sending each other tracks, giving feedback. I was, he was actually one of the first guys who I sent animals to. It's great, like after three years we became really good friends as well. And then um, I was heading to Amsterdam and then I was like, hey, let's hang out. Last year's ADE stayed four days in a row at my place just to work on a track, which we finally released called Set Me Free. Silence on the set. What was the best moment of your DJ time? But like on stage? Like <laughs> Dude, that is the, all the question I got. So there's fruit flies in here. A cool message to your fans. That was awesome. No, no, it was good. I was not done yet. Keep going. And I can't wait till you guys can hear my new upcoming tracks. I think you should start over again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till they can hear your new tracks too. This one's so cool. Please. I can sound sarcastic. I sound sarcastic, but I'm actually being serious. Cool. Maybe. Wait, wait, hold on. I saw the DJ Marty thing. Anyone we're not doesn't gonna know show it. We're not gonna show it. <laughs> it is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is Martin. How old are you? Like eight or something. It's Martin at eight years old DJing, and it says DJ Marty in front of his DJ booth. Your parents are the coolest parents ever. So they've been supporting you since you were eight years old to become a DJ. I know. That, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, it's cool. Really cool. But we're not going to use the video. <laughs> <laughs> the video stays on your phone <laughs> and nowhere else. No, it's fun. Um, yeah, from, from since very young age, I, I was always dreaming to be like a DJ one day and uh, I love making music, I, I love to DJ, so when I was very young I saved up some money to buy some shitty DJ equipment. We made like this big sign which we put in front of my DJ book with DJ Marty on it and um, I, yeah, it was quite fun and then I started producing, I started messing around, uh, I found like my own, my own sound after a couple of years and I got signed to Spinning Records. Hij staat nummer 6, Beatport. Deze manier staat nummer 1 vandaag. Bam, ja, ik zal weer op blijven. Dat is helemaal niet dom, dat is juist slim. Ik, wil, ik had die nacht tevoren heel lang in de studio gezeten. Ja, maar dat was niet slim. Je, hebt gewoon, je bent niet slim Amst uh, AD ingegaan. Ik vond het fucking sick. Ik ben, ben, ook. Ik ben zo moeilijk ik misselijk ben, dat ik gisteren ook voor me zet. Ja, je bent gewoon back af. Dat is het. Een soort gevoel dat ik moet kotsen. Ja, rustig. Wil je water? Ja, lekker. AD starts on Wednesday and from Tuesday night to Wednesday morning I spend the whole night in the studio with Afrojack. So 
when the week started, I was already super tired. And then like all the interviews started, all the shows started. And uh, I was really, really tired, but it's something I learned from. Like next year, I'll make sure I go completely rested into ADE. And then it should be fine. Come on. Oh, I can only imagine. Like, now you can rest. You're done now. For the week. Rest. <laughs> Guys, we have to go. Sorry. Uh, quickly. I just threw up. Yeah. You. I feel like so fucking you tired. You haven't actually eaten have anything open, properly, open have you? Yeah. Have you yeah. eaten anything? Hmm? Yeah. I have fucking forgot you. I'm going to spring. I'm going to Yeah, I know. Well, it's half now and then uh, I know. you can... Uh, like half of my set, like... You were like... I, you, no, I was super tired. Yeah. And I, like, in the first two minutes, I started, like, sweating, like, so much. I saw it too. You saw my energy went, like, less halfway in my set, but yeah. Yeah. Is that? Leef you noch? Yeah. Even samen. If I eat somewhere now, I'm just going to go out again. We did so much interviews, so many shows, but it was all worth it. We had such a great time and together with the whole team we made every show great and I'm super happy and tonight is actually the last show. Um, this is actually one of the last interviews I'm doing right now and uh, hard work pays off and tonight we're going to close it with a big bang. We're right now at Amsterdam Music Festival in the Amsterdam Arena, which is uh, yeah, a home match for me. I, I live like 10 minutes away from here. I brought some of my best friends, I brought my family, uh, I brought Sick Efren as well. And yeah, I think together with everybody we're gonna make a great party and uh, yeah, I'm super excited. In like one hour uh, the DJ Mac to Honor gets announced. If the rumors are true, I'm super high and I, I still can't believe it. And then in like three hours I have to play my set, which I'm even more excited about. I just can't wait. Ja, dat heb ik nu verteld, man. Ja, al vanaf dat hij gewoon klein is, is hij altijd al eigenlijk bezig geweest met muziek. Altijd. Uh, als wij dan uh, bijvoorbeeld als er buiten gespeeld werd, dan zat hij gewoon thuis als, uh, de hele tijd op zijn computer. Gewoon uh, 24-7 eigenlijk. Of als je dan bij elkaar slaapt, dan uh, ik opeens midden in de nacht denk ik, hè, waar is Martijn nou? Dat hij gewoon even als een geobsedeerde zo in zijn laptop, weet je wel, de hele nacht bezig was. Dus dat is eigenlijk altijd uh, hetzelfde geweest. Hij is nog steeds onze zelfde gestoorde vriend. Ja, tuurlijk, hij heeft wel heel veel succes nu, maar het is niet dat hij daardoor anders is of zo. Voor Martin Garrix. DJ Mac just got announced and yeah, fucking dream came true. I'm, I was looking at the screens and then they were at number four and they, they called my name and yeah, holy fucking shit. It's uh, it's crazy. I didn't do any any campaign for a DJ Mac following. I honestly think the people who, who, who are your fans, who like your DJ sets, who love your productions, they'll vote anyway. And a lot of artists are like doing a whole big campaign, asking for votes, but I think, I think your real fans will like vote for you anyway. And yeah, this year's number four without any campaign has been, has been the proof of that. And then I'm super thankful and super Humbled by the fact so many people took the time to vote and it's it, yeah, fucking sick. Trotse varen, hele trotse varen.
This was a uh, fucking fucking world. Super super sick. I'm I'm still like in my dream. I can't believe it. Fuck it. Baby. Zeker weg het beste, het beste wat ik hier gezien heb. Dat is echt ongelooflijk. Goed! Ik zal net van boven te kijken, man. I've just been asked what's my, my bond with Martin. Martijn, that's his real name. Uh. <laughs> He's uh, my little brother. I love him. He's one of the nicest persons I've ever met in the whole fucking dance music industry. And uh, he's still a kid, but he's gonna be one of the few geniuses out of the whole EDM scene emerging. A lot of people going like, yeah, it's a cool top 100 DJs, yada yada yada. This kid is still gonna be there in 20 years, in 30 years. I'm happy he came into the scene because a lot of people do not even come close to his energy and his shit. Waanzinnig. Van niks naar 40, van 40 naar 4. Als je de ontwikkeling ziet in een jaar, dat is. Eigenlijk de beste show die ik van hem gezien heb. Wanneer? Mijn zoon, nu? Zegt hij elke keer weer, hè? Ja, maar dat komt toch? <laughs> wow, dat... Alles is een open De beste show die ik heb gezien. De laatste paar jaar. Ja, fucking sick. Het voelt als een big dream. One crazy dream, and I. It's it's bizarre. Stored, as you say it in Dutch. It's hard to describe this this, yeah this feeling. Well, I know one thing without without all of you, without all of your support, it yeah it wouldn't be possible. Thanks thanks for everything. Thanks so much. Het doel heeft me aangeboden om een gratis skydive cursus in Dubai. Ik ga echt niet mee. Ik heb het kost me tien jaar van mijn leven. Ik ga dit niet.